Hello, how are you? Let's do some Reiki healing with symbols. First of all, we're going to ground you. Just feel yourself sinking into the seat or the bed that you are sitting on. Just let your limbs grow heavy. Take a breath in and sigh out. Ah, that's it. Relax. Relax. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Relax. Relax. And now I want you to imagine this symbol being wrapped around you, starting at your crown, going down your chakra line, and around, around, and around. Protection energy of the Chokore. 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 Now, I'm doing a little bit of an experiment with these little mittens. I'm not sure, I don't think it does dull the Reiki, but let me know if you like them. Okay, so we're going to use a number of symbols. We'll use the traditional Egyptian Reiki symbols. This is called Honsha Tse Shou N. Honsha Tse Shou N. How does it feel when I bring it in close? Honsha Tse Shou this is a distant healing symbol. So this will travel down the timelines, up the timelines, around the timelines of your life. But also your karmic line, your ancestral line. So if you've learnt behaviour, you can't shift many different aspects. Honcha Tse Sho N. Honcha Tse Sho N. Honcha Tse. And then the next one we're going to use is a clearing symbol. This is called, I'm going to draw it the other way because these are transposed in the video. 
say hey key. Say hey key. Say hey key. Bring this in for emotional healing. And it down your back for physical pain. Where is the root of that pain? Finally, the master symbol for enlightenment, to gain mastery over something. Tai Kumio. Tai Kumio. Dai Kumio. Mastery. Healing. Enlightenment. Daikumio 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 Now let's work with these symbols in a slightly different way. I want you to imagine That this is literally being drawn in violet and it disintegrates into your aura. So imagine you're standing there and a 3D hologram of this symbol is either pushed into you or you can imagine you step into it and it spins within your body. Where can you, where can you feel that working within you? It protects, it amplifies power, it gives you core strengths. It may make you move and spin with its spirals. It may keep you rigid and standing tall and adjust your posture. But feel the symbol working within your mind, your body and your aura. And thank it for its work. way, depending on the Reiki that you are doing. Okay, breathe in and relax. Nobody
nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Now let's do the same with the distant healing symbol, the Honshad Zeshoten. Just imagine that this is being drawn into your aura. Honshad Zeshoten. Honshad Zeshoten. Or imagine that you are stepping into a spinning hologram the size of you. Again, where can you feel this working? Have you got a hang up? We've all got hang ups. See? If you can direct this symbol to work on that hang-up. Maybe you know it's a ridiculous one. Maybe it's not a ridiculous one. Maybe this needs to go back down your timeline. To a time in your life. Where you were upset where you were abused, where you misused your own power. Any number of things. Honcha. Tse shot. Honcha. Tse shot. Honcha. Tse Maybe you wish to send this back to those ancestors of yours that perhaps weren't so wholesome as they would like to have thought. Just feel that taking effect and if you can't feel it, trust that it is taking effect. And if you don't know what needs to be healing, Reiki is classed as an intelligent life force. So the key or the chi finds where it needs to go and seeks out those imbalances. Mind, body, spirit. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, well done. Well done. Not a difficult, not an easy one rather to work with. Another very difficult one. The say hey key. I'm going to draw this the same way it's portrayed. Pushing that into your auric field now, clearing emotionally anything that needs to be cleared. But also, I'll draw it the other way now. Asking for it to help clear any pain and any trauma. Now, imagine it is in front of you spinning in 3D form and that you step into this now. Say, hey, ki. Say hey ki. Say hey ki. Cleansing, clearing. 
burning through any residue. Remember, the choker ray is already protecting you. The distant healing is going down the timelines. And then this is clearing out the crud, as I call it, the, the dross, the heavy emotions, the upset. Where is that happening in your body? Where is it happening in your mind? And where is it happening in your soul? If you do not know, just trust that it will. And perhaps see how you feel about certain issues afterwards. Maybe something that bothered you will not bother you so much. And that brings us on to the master symbol. The enlightenment symbol. The symbol to gain mastery over those hang-ups, over that pain, over whatever. I will just draw that in front of you. Dai Kumio. Dai Kumio. Dai Kumio. Now, this spinning in front of you and you step into it again where can you feel this working within your awareness can you feel it working in certain parts of your body can you feel it or do you know that it is working on certain parts of your psyche Just sense that happening. Hope that that is happening. Know that that is happening. Dai Kumio. Dai Kumio. Dai Kumio. So you may have noticed that all of those symbols felt a little different. You may have had different sensations in different parts of you. And now we're just going to let that take effect. I want you to have a drink of water because that is what Reiki healers tell you to do. And ground this into you. Take a breath in. And breathe all the way down to your feet. Perfect. Feel the weight of my hands on your shoulders. And relax. Knowing that that has been a very miniature Reiki symbol treatment. And you can imagine standing in those symbols any time. Bye bye now.